بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد. So there are many benefits of Ramadan and just some of the benefits for the believers <coughs> are mentioned in the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, which are glad tidings for us, and they show us the blessedness of Ramadan as well as that it's a time of great protection for the believer if he or she takes advantage of this blessed month by fasting and restraining themselves from looking at the prohibited things and speaking about prohibited things and backbiting and, and slandering others and cursing people and restraining oneself from the things that break one's fast. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said أتاكم شهر رمضان شهر مبارك فرض الله عليكم أو فرض الله عليكم صيامه تفتح فيه أبواب أبواب السماء وتغلق فيه أبواب الجحيم وتغل فيه مرضة الشياطين وفيه ليلة هي خير من ألف ألف شهر ومن Oh, من حرم خيرها فقد حرم and this was collected in أخرجوا النساء وبيهقي وقال الشيخ الألباني هي صحيح في صحيح النساء in this hadith the, the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, صلى الله عليه وسلم said that the month of Ramadan has come to you and it is a blessed month so it shows us that Ramadan is what is a blessed month and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made it an obligation upon you to fast it and the gates of paradise are open and the dates and, and the gates of the hellfire are closed and the transgressing devils are shackled and during it meaning during this month is a night which is better than a thousand months a thousand months of ibadah of worship so whoever is prohibited from the good of it then he is prohibited meaning whoever doesn't take advantage of this blessed month and restrain themselves and refrain from the prohibited things then they have prohibited themselves they, they will receive the reward and the blessings and the favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the forgiveness also the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said in another hadith إِذَا دَخَلَ شَهْرَ رَمَضَانْ فُتِحَتْ أَبْوَابَ السَّمَاءُ وَغُلِقَتْ أَبْوَابَ جَهَنَّمْ وَسِلْسِلَتْ الشَّيَاطِينَ that if the when the month of Ramadan begins the doors the gates of paradise are open and the gates of the hellfire are closed and the shayateen are shackled so again we learn that the devils will be chained during this time and this will let us know that when we receive the whisperings during this holy month that this is from ourselves this is was was, was that is that is from our own self, our own desires, and so forth. So it's a time when we, Allah has made it easier for us to battle our own nafs. This is the jihad and nafs. This is the struggle against one's own self. Because the shayateen are chained. And that is making it easier for us to do obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Prophet sallallahu said in a ruwaya li muslim إذا جاء رمضان فتحت أبواب الجنة وغلقت أبواب النار وصدفت الشياطين and again in the narration of Muslim if the month of Ramadan comes then the gates of paradise are open and the gates of the hellfire or the gates of the hellfire are closed and the shayateen are shackled or chained. وعن 
أبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال من قام رمضان إيمانا واحتسابا غفر له ما تقدم من ذنبه The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said and this was collected in uh, this is in Bukhari and Muslim that the one who fasts the month of Ramadan believing in it and you know accounting for themselves their own deeds and, 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 and doing the fasting in the manner that the Prophet ﷺ has prescribed, seeking the reward of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, then Allah will forgive him or her for all the sins they did before, all their previous sins. And the scholars, they mention that this is in relation to the minor sins, not the major sins, because the major, major sins require Toba. They require making repentance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in order to have them forgiven. And so we ask Allah the Almighty to forgive us of all of our sins and help us to be prepared for this Ramadan if we are blessed to live to see this holy month. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ilm nafiyah, wa rizq al-tayba, wa amal al-mutaqabbilan, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad.